Good afternoon to all of you. So slide is visible to all? Yes, sir. Okay. So we will start within one minute. Okay, so we start now. So last lecture, we have completed the MCQ discussion and revision of our sixth chapter that is laser. So today we are starting the seventh one that is optical fibers. So in case of optical fibers, if we check the syllabus, so it starts with the basic concept related to optical fibers. Then next is the structure and dimensions of optical fibers. After that, classification of OFC, that is optical fiber cables. Then next is the derivation for acceptance angle, numerical aperture, etc. <clears throat> Some conceptual terms are there in terms of mathematical expression. We are discussing that thing. That is acceptance angle, acceptance cone, then numerical aperture, fractional refractive exchange, and last one is advantages of optical fiber cables. So that we have to complete. So today we start with the basic things and try to complete the classification part also. So last lecture we have discussed about the different points related to laser in terms of the interaction of radiation with matter then types of laser, that is helium neon laser. So can anybody tell me that from helium neon laser, we are getting one wavelength in red color. What is the value of that wavelength? What is the wavelength? So I got the answer from student, which is present in the class. It is 6,000. 328 angstrom, is it correct? 6328 angstrom, we are getting. Then, next, in which process we are getting amplification of light, that is large number of photons, which are having equal identical properties. Is it a spontaneous emission or stimulated emission? Stimulated emission. Yes, it is a stimulated emission. Then in case of holography, 
how many steps we are using in case of holography yes it is a two step process which one yes recording and reconstruction of hologram and we are recording intensity and phase of the light wave that we have discussed today in industrial and medical applications also we have seen so can anybody tell me the titles of the characteristics of laser beam characteristics or properties of laser beam first characteristics they are they are highly what are the characteristics first i will write student also giving me the response here they are highly coherent is it correct yes sir yes sir then next can you add monochromatic yes monochromatic highly monochromatic then unidirectional unidirectional okay unidirectional then intensity less, di less divergence yes they are having less divergence and last one is they are having high intensity high intensity okay so for getting large number of atoms to excited level we are supplying energy to the medium that process is called as that process is called as yes pumping is called as pumping then by using pumping which process we can achieve by using pumping we are increasing number of atoms from lower to higher state that is called as Yes. Population. Yes. Population inversion. It is called as population inversion, and which state is responsible for that? Meta. Yes, meta stable state. Okay, so we are taking the revision in terms of question answer, so that you can link that thing. Now we start discussing this optical fibers. So if we see some practical examples. of this optical fiber cable so you have maybe handled this optical fiber cable best example is your lan network that is local area network if internet wire is there so if you see the back side of your uh, this processing unit so back side one wire is there and light is blinking continuously so that is nothing but optical fiber cables are there maybe you have seen carefully then on a road side if highways are there or road side some color stones are there okay blue color stone yellow color stone are there on that written ofc or that company name so that optical fiber cable is parallelly running with the roads another example maybe you have seen or you have also in the home so that is a flower pot like structure in that fine wires are there and if we connect that in circuit then the tip of that wire starts blowing like this is it right tumhi bagitla asel tar te je wires hai te manje kayat aplya tar optical fiber cables so these ofcs we are using for different applications and that's why we are discussing it is a part of the syllabus so we have to see the basic concepts behind this optical fiber cable and it's a classification first then we move towards the next point So can anybody tell me what is meant by total internal reflection? What happens in total internal reflection? Anybody want to share in English, Marathi? Total internal reflection means what? What happens? 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 Rarer medium to denser medium. Okay. Ah. So make mistakes, no problem. You are making the mistakes. So important is you are trying, you are expressing. That is important. If you want to change your statement, you can change, no problem. Okay. So when we are considering two medium, that is denser and rarer. so little bit correction is there light is passing from denser to rarer denser medium to yes. rarer medium yes denser to rarer medium then what happens 
first refraction takes place at certain angles and when we continuously increasing the angle then at a particular angle what happens light gets totally internally reflected so that is nothing but called as total internal reflection so i can show the figure so this is the figure of total internal reflection tri itha apan bagu shakto ki don medium apan ghetle tyacha refractive index asnare ek ahe denser dusra ahe rare ठीक है म्हणजे काय कंडिशन आहे तर एन वन इज ग्रेटर दॅन एन टू सो हिअर यू कॅन सी वी आर पासिंग द लाईट फ्रॉम मेडियम टू मेडियम सो दिस रिफ्रॅक्शन टेक्स प्लेस ॲट सर्टन अँगल लाईट इज स्ट्रेट हिअर अलॉंग द बाउंड्री अँड नेक्स्ट टू दॅट अँगल वी आर गेटिंग टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन तर याचं जे हेडिंग आहे या हेडिंग मध्ये जे जी इन्फॉर्मेशन आहे टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन म्हणजे टोटल म्हणजे सगळीची सगळी लाईट इंटरनल म्हणजे विद इन अ मिडियम काय होते रिफ्लेक्ट होते ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन सो व्हाय वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस थिंग्स बिकॉज दिस कन्सेप्ट वी आर युजिंग फॉर ऑप्टिकल फायबर केबल ऑपरेशन ओके सो बाय युजिंग दिस कन्सेप्ट ऑप्टिकल फायबर केबल्स वी आर युजिंग फॉर डिफरंट ऍप्लिकेशन सो लेट अस go with the mathematical terms so concept of fiber optics the optical fibers are based on the principle of total internal reflection when a light traveling from medium of refractive index n1 strikes a second medium of refractive index n2 the angle of refraction theta is given by snell's law that is n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin theta when a ray of light is traveling from an optically dense medium to a less dense medium means denser to rarer we are saying if it strikes the surface at an angle equal to or greater than this is very important one it is not only greater than it is equal to or greater than mujhe tevda angle kiwa tyacha pekshi jast asel tari sudha aplyala ha phenomenon bagala milto equal to or greater than a particular angle called as critical angle then it will be totally internally reflected consider the case when theta is equal to 90 degree for a particular value that is i is equal to theta c then we are writing this as n1 of theta c is equal to n2 of sin of 90 so sin 90 is 1 so we are simply getting sin of theta c kiwa apan yala symbolically sin of phi c ase manu shakto sin of theta c or sin of phi c <clears throat> which is equal to n2 divided by n1 in case of optical fibers it is essential that there must be very little absorption of light as it travels through a long distance inside optical fiber okay so this we are discussing just the concept that is what is meant by total internal reflection now how we can connect this to the optical fiber cable operation that we have to discuss the real slide madhe apan kay bagitle tar snell's law cha use karun apan equation mandle n1 sin i is equal to into sin theta sin theta manje to angle ki jo apan badalto hai ani jevha to critical angle kevha tyache peksha jast hoto tar tyavela samplela kay milto total internal reflection tar apan yacha madhe condition consider keli ja madhe theta 90 degree getla this one ani angle of incidence hai tar tela apan phi c kevha theta c mhanto hai te apan par equation directly यूज करणार आहोत डेरिवेशन मध्ये सो साइन ऑफ थिटस इज इक्वल टू एन टू डिवायडेड बाय एन वन सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज इंटरनल क्रिटिकल अँगल दॅट इज थिटस इज इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स ऑफ एन टू डिवायडेड बाय एन वन ओके नाव वी हॅव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑप्टिकल फायबर केबल दॅट इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फायबर केबल सो लेट एस सी सम फिगर्स सो दिस इज नथिंग बट स्ट्रक्चर of ofc that is optical fiber cable so you can see here different layers are there for ofc inner one is called as core then next to that is called as cladding and you can draw only a single layer uh, next to that tar eche madhe apan char paths dakhlele tar teen kadle tari sudha chalta tar eche ek simple figure mi tumhala draw karun deto tar ti tumhi use karu shakta hai on the right side if you see we have shown the dimensions of this optical fiber cable so inner one which is called as core it is having dim dimension 
from 5 micrometer to 100 micrometer. So we have written here 50 micrometer. Then cladding is the next layer. It is of the order of 125 micrometer diameter. And by considering jacket or protection layer, it is 250 micrometer. So I can draw one simple figure. Instead of this, HIG to me figure. Okay. And you can draw this figure to show the different layers of optical fiber cable. So you can show this by a very simple diagram where <clears throat> this central one is core, then this is cladding and this you can say, uh, say as coating, okay, this third one. Okay. The core mana, the layer the cladding mana, and this rajai, the coating as now the other hatch of layer sister. Then upon I zoe this so for the gift. Okay, so this is a coating. Then this is a cladding. And this is a core. Okay, so you can take screenshot. Or if you want roughly, you can draw it, no problem. So instead of this figure, he figure it that he karmaka techaji he figure notebook madhitami kada shakta. He disala chandiste pan. Simply upon him, complete Koshokani. He figures yet the left side let drop her until us parallel right side a dimension she figure to me drop. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Shall we proceed? We get the Atapun Kai Korean. There upon Don Gushi Bagitia. The dimensions and his regime is sung in the slide. Movie delay, but in complete Kurwadi. Any then another total internal reflection, any optical fiber cable. It's a connection kaya that they open link Korea. So, structure of optical fiber, just we have discussed it now. In this case, we have to check which material we are using to fabricate core and cladding. So, an optical fiber consists of an inner cylinder which is made up of glass material. That is called as core. This carries light. It is surrounded by another cylindrical shell of lower refractive index called the cladding. The cladding helps to keep the light within the core through the phenomenon of total internal reflection. The core and cladding are covered by outermost protecting jacket layer coating as shown in figure. So here you can see the figure. <coughs> Sorry. First is core, then cladding and coating. So core and cladding are made up of glass materials. Then about the dimensions. So cross-sectional view of an optical fiber is as shown in figure. So this is our cross-sectional view diagram, right side diagram that we have discussed. The innermost region is the light guiding region known as the core. And its diameter can vary from 5 micrometer to 100 micrometer. So slight correction is there. It is 100 micrometer. It is surrounded by a coaxial middle region known as cladding, usually 125 micrometer in diameter. The outermost region is called as sheath or coating. It protects the core and cladding from the environmental effects that is moisture, abrasion, contamination, increasing mechanical strength of the fiber as it is a glass material. The core and cladding glass material is a glass material. Delicate material. So, for that, we are using this coating material that is plastic material or insulating material. And when we fabricate this, so during that, we are taking care of its uh, mechanical strength and protection. So, if you see these things, so from that, what we can get? So, if this is a core and if this is a cladding. The Hijapi Atlas cylinder to Majukore 
बाहर जो सिलिंडर है तो क्लैडिंग है अपन जर हिंद मध्य लाइट पास के लिए टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन जो कन्सेप्ट है तो अपन वो अपन का रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ कोअर एंड टू इज रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ क्लैडिंग अपन कंडीशन का मेन्टेन के लिए पाजे ऑलवेज एन वन इज ग्रेटर दैन एन टू सो दीज आर इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग्स एन वन इज ग्रेटर दैन एन टू डेन्सर टू रेलर मीडियम अपन जो मन तो सो हि रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ कोर इज ग्रेटर दैन रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ क्लैडिंग होता जेवन ये लाइट पास करू तो लाइट है तो ती क्रिटिकल एंगल जर आप सैटिस्फाय के ती लाइट या पद्धति ने टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन हो सो दैट सिग्नल गेट्स प्रोपेगेटेड इन साइड द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर केबल सो व्हेन वी आर सेंडिंग सम फाइल अपलोडिंग डाउनलोडिंग सेंडिंग द मेसेजेस सिग्नल्स थ्रू पीसी थ्रू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर केबल सो वी आर सेंडिंग दैट इन ऑप्टिकल सिग्नल्स दैट इज डेटा पैकेट्स एंड दीज सिग्नल्स गेट्स टोटली इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्टेड एंड दे pass through this optical fiber cable from one end to another end okay so here if you see so it happens because of this total internal reflection why because we have maintained the condition as n1 is greater than n2 and this is glass material or silica material so we are passing these light signals or optical signals and they gets totally internally reflected at the boundary Which is nothing but core cladding boundary. So, if this is happen, the condition satisfy ke di total internal reflection chhi. So, rani tera is apne na signal pass hota na dista. Otherwise, absorption takes place, signal losses takes place, and we are not getting the data from one point to another point. Are you getting these things? Okay. Is it clear to all? Yes, sir. Yes. So. This is important condition. N one is greater than N two, and this is just a diagram for explanation. You have to draw this figure instead of that previous one that I have shown. The real ja figure set. The amade he ji left side ji figure the chaji he draw kara simply. Ani yala core cladding ani coating. As I mentioned kara ani ji dimension set cross section which is this one the yes side la show. Okay, so. we have discussed the two points first is concept behind the optical fiber cable that is total internal reflection and second is structure and dimensions of optical fiber cables now let us move to the classification of optical fiber cable so in case of classification if you see so two types are there and we are classifying this optical fiber cables into two types depends upon the modes of propagation so i can write here first depends upon the modes of propagation it gets classified into two types and second is depends upon its refractive index that is depends upon the index profile we can see okay now modes of propagation means what and refractive index you can know about that so here modes of propagation that thing we have to understand first so when we are considering optical fiber cable so for example consider this is ofc and we are passing the light through this optical fiber cable so if this optical fiber cable allows only one path or only one mode of propagation then it is called as single mode fiber kela apan kay manto single mode fiber so depends upon modes of propagation we are classifying this into two types first single mode fiber and second multi mode fiber okay so multi mode fiber means what that optical fiber which allows multiple paths at a time means for example we can send this light also okay like this 
whether we can shorten like this. So multiple modes we are passing at a time through that cable. That's why it is called as multi-mode fiber. And if it allows only single path, then it is called as single mode fiber. So modes of propagation is nothing but how many paths or how many ways it is allowing that is called as modes of propagation. Is it clear? So depends upon the physical properties, it gets changed up how a single mode fiber has a small core diameter and can support only one mode of propagation. On the other hand, a multi-mode fiber has a large core diameter and number of modes are available in these types. Multi-mode fibers are further distinguished on the basis of index profile. आता जसं म्हटलं की दुसरं काय रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स तर इंडेक्स प्रोफाईल मध्ये आपण त्याला काय करू शकतोय तर डिवाइड करतो द इंडेक्स प्रोफाईल ऑफ ए मल्टीमोड फायबर कॅन बी आयदर स्टेप इंडेक्स और ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स द इंडेक्स प्रोफाईल ऑफ ए सिंगल मोड फायबर इज युजली स्टेप इंडेक्स फायबर तर याच्यात आपल्याला जास्त डिटेल मध्ये जायची गरज नाही तर आपण पहिल्यांदा मोड्स ऑफ प्रोपॅगेशन वर कॉन्सन्ट्रेट करू त्यात आपण काय बघितलं तर सिंगल मोड फायबर असते त्याची कोअर डायमीटर कमी असते आणि तो फक्त एकच वे किंवा पाथ अलाउड करतो आणि मल्टीमोड फायबर जर बघितलं तर ह्याची कोर डायमीटर असते तर ती जास्त असते अँड नंबर ऑफ मोड्स अवेलेबल इन दिस ओके सो इज इट क्लिअर टू यू शॅल बी प्रोसिड ओके नाव सेकंड टाईप इज इंडेक्स प्रोफाईल आता इंडेक्स प्रोफाईल म्हणजे काय तर रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स हे लक्षात घ्या तर त्याच्यावर आपण काय करतो तर त्या इंडेक्स प्रोफाईल वर ह्याला दोन टाईप मध्ये आपण डिवाइड करतो पहिला आहे स्टेप इंडेक्स फायबर आणि दुसरा आहे ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फायबर ओके सो लेट अस चेक व्हॉट इज मीन बाय स्टेप इंडेक्स फायबर अँड ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फायबर तर आपण पहिल्यांदा स्टेप इंडेक्स काय ते बघू आणि त्याचे फिगर्स आणि त्यानंतर ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स कम्पेअर करू त्याला सो हिअर इन दिस टाईप द कोअर हॅज युनिफॉर्म रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स and cladding has also uniform refractive index okay so core has uniform refractive index that is n1 cladding has uniform refractive index that is n2 to me manal ki sir uniform as aste so as compared to graded we are saying these statements aplyala he condition maiti kay n1 is greater than n2 the refractive index profile of a step index fiber is as shown in figure okay so we have to go for the figure so the figure of this step index fiber is here <clears throat> so this upper one is nothing but figure for step index fiber and lower one is for graded index fiber so just to complete this second paragraph that is figure shows the path of rays in step index fiber there are two rays entering at different angles of incidence with the axis the two rays travel different path lengths and emerge out at different times tar ita apan bagu shakto ki apan ita multiple paths dakhle le kasha sathi tar step index fiber sathi so here we can consider some points so this is nothing but our core this is core and this is nothing but our cladding okay now here symbolic figure is given where this is straight a straight line madhe apan dakhle याचा अर्थ काय तर ह्याची रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स जी आहे कोअरची तर ती सेम आहे रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स क्लॅडिंगची आहे तर ती सुद्धा सेम आहे युनिफॉर्म म्हणजे काय तर कॉन्स्टंट तर याच्यामुळे काय होतं तर मगासारखी जी आपली कंडिशन आहे ती इथे सॅटिस्फाय होते टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन आणि झिगझॅक पाथमध्ये ही लाईट प्रोपॅगेट होते त्यालाच आपण काय म्हणतो तर स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोपॅगेशन ऑफ लाईट आणि स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोपॅगेशन आहे म्हणूनच आपण याला काय म्हणतो स्टेप इंडेक्स फायबर ओके गेटिंग दिस शॅल बी प्रोसिड येस सर नाव ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फायबर आता तुम्ही बघू शकताय खाली याच्यापेक्षा काय तर वेगळं दिसतंय तर हे का झालं तर ते आपण डिस्कस करूया आय विल गो थ्रू द राईट अप फर्स्ट इन केस ऑफ ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फायबर आता या केसमध्ये काय कंडिशन आहे द कोअर हॅज नॉन युनिफॉर्म रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स दॅट ग्रॅज्युअली डिक्रीजेस फ्रॉम the center towards the core cladding interface ke kay apan bahuya 
the cladding has a uniform refractive index the refractive index profile of graded index fiber is as shown in figure tar hi khalchi graded index profile tar tichi apan figure ithe dakhli tar ya madhe kay hote from figure it is clear that a light ray continuously bent and travels a periodic path along the axis the rays entering at different angles follow different paths with the same period it should be noted that pulse dispersion is less as compared to the step index fiber ata tumhi manale ki step index fiber ahe ani tatna light sudha propagate hote me hi dusri type chi kay garaj hai tar ata ithe samjhun gya kay ate ya ani ya figure madhe kay farak hai तर इत अपन ही स्टेट लाइन दाखिल अर्थ का यूनिफॉर्म रिफ्रैक्ट इंडेक्स है स्टेट लाइन दाखिल इत जर तुम्हें बगित तो इत अपन पीक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दाखिल इत ग्रैजुअली वाढ़ जता है इत सुधा कमी होते कि जस अपन सेंटर कड़े जाओ तस ये वाढ़ जता है मुझे तरी चले ओके सो इफ यू कन्सिडर धीस वन एज कम्पेर टू धीस वॉट इज द डिफरस द कोर रिफ्रैक्ट इंडेक्स इज डिफरंट रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स कांस्टंट आते ठीक है को रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स जी है कॉन्स्टंट नी कहते इट इज मैक्सिम एट द सेंटर ऑफ कोअर ती को सेंटर लैक्सिम ग्रैजुअली डिक्रीजेस टूवर्ड्स कोअर क्लैडिंग बॉन्ड सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टंट सेंटेन्स वॉट इज द कंडीशन फॉर ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स पाइपर सो कोअर इज नॉन यूनिफॉर्म रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स कोअर इज है नॉन यूनिफॉर्म रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स फर्स्ट थिंग second thing it is maximum means refractive index value is maximum at the center of core and gradually decreases towards core cladding bond ha huh. any doubt any have no sir okay so ithe thodkyat kay sangaycha tar ithe bagitla tar hi chi throughout refractive index same hai pan ithe kay aste core chi ithe center la jaste ani ti ग्रैजुअली डिक्रीज होत जाते आता तुम्ही म्हणाल हे कसे शक्य आहे किंवा हे कसे केले तर हे आधी कंप्लीट करतो की क्लॅडिंग ची रिफ्रॅक्टिव इंडेक्स काय असते यूनिफॉर्म असते ठीक आहे कशा मध्ये ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स मध्ये पण तर इथे तुम्ही बघू शकता आपण काय करूया शो करायचा प्रयत्न करूया तर ही जी सेंटर आहे आपली कोर ची तर इथे आपण मटेरियल्स वेगळे वापरतो म्हणजे काय की आपण इथे वेगवेगळे मटेरियल्स जे आहेत यूज करोरला फैब्रिकेट कर डिफरंट रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स मटेरियल ओके वर जर तुम्हें बगित सेम सर कॉन्स्टंट आर यू गेटिंग दिस डिफरेंस डिफरेंस डिफरन्स लक्षा आला का कि एन वन जी रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स है कॉन्स्टंट है इतना कशा मे स्टेप इंडेक्स फाइबर मे इतना अपने एक्जेक्ट पाथ क्या स्टेप बाय स्टेप मिलते आता इत अपन का पर्पजफुली कोर चे जो सेंटर है तेज रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स जास्त है कोर क्लैडिंग बाउंड्रीक जस अपन जो तस तस रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स हिंदी कमी होती है तर पीरियोडिक पाथ कि ग्रैजुअल प्रोपेगेशन ऑफ लाइट वी कैन सी इत ग्रैजुअल प्रोपेगेशन होते जेव प्रत्येक मटेरियल मीडियम मध्य जानुसार हेच प्रोपेगेशन है बदल जाए सो हियर वी आर डूइंग दिस बिकॉज वी कैन गेट द लॉसेस विच आर लेस एज कम्पेर टू स्टेप इंडेक्स फाइबर सो इन केस ऑफ ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फाइबर वी कैन गेट गुड रिजल्ट एज कम्पेर टू स्टेप इंडेक्स फाइबर and that's why we are using this type of conditions okay is it clear to all of you yes sir okay yes, if sir. you if you want you can take screenshot of this colors yacha madhe lakshat yel ki doni pan conditions hai ye what less me zara dark karto kind of karto tar ye chi boundary je hai ye chi boundary var na lakshat yel कि हे जे है तो कमी जास्त होते सेंटर लास्त है कोअर क्लैडिंग बाउंड्री लमी हो जाते ठीक है ये चा, ये उल्टा अर्थ का है उल्टा सेंटेन्स का द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स इन्क्रीजेस फ्रॉम कोअर क्लैडिंग बाउंड्री टूवर्ड्स द 
सेंटर ऑफ द कोर हे सुद्धा बरोबर आहे अँड ऍट द सेंटर ऑफ कोर इट इज मॅक्सिमम अँड ग्रॅज्युअली डिक्रीजेस टुवर्ड्स कोर क्लॅडिंग बाउंड्री कोर क्लॅडिंग बाउंड्री म्हणजे काय तर ही ठीक आहे तर हे तुमच्या लक्षात आलं असेल ओके सो आय होप दॅट इट इज क्लिअर टू ऑल Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then, what is the difference? Then, first of all, we have done the modes of propagation. The modes of propagation are that the G optical fiber is one path allowed. So, we have done the single mode fiber. And the optical fiber is multiple paths allowed. So, we have done the multi-mode fiber. Okay. One path. निश्चितना आपण भरपूर सिग्नल्स पाठवतो आहे त्याच्या सो सिंगल मोड मल्टी मोड त्यामध्ये फरक काय तर कोर डायमीटर सिंगल मोडची कमी असते मल्टी मोडची जास्त असते सेकंड इंडेक्स प्रोफाईल म्हणजे रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स वरून आपण त्याला काय केलं दोन टाईप मध्ये डिवाईड केलं कुठल्या कुठल्या तर स्टेप इंडेक्स फायबर आणि ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फायबर स्टेप इंडेक्स फायबर मध्ये काय कंडिशन आहे तर एन वन ची रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स युनिफॉर्म असते एन टू ची पण रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स युनिफॉर्म असते आणि आपल्याला इथं स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोपॅगेशन किंवा झिगझॅक पाहत ना लाईट प्रोपॅगेशन दिसत नेक्स्ट मल्टी मोड फायबर ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स मध्ये तर ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फायबर जर बघितलं तर यात एन टू ची रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स युनिफॉर्म आहे पण एन वन ची रिफ्रॅक्टिव्ह इंडेक्स सेम नसते तर ती सेंटरला जास्त असते आणि ती कोअर क्लॅडिंग बाउंड्री कडे जशी जाईल तशी तशी कमी होत जाते किंवा उलट म्हणू शकता कोअर क्लॅडिंग बाउंड्रीला कमी असते आणि सेंटरला जाईल तशी वाढत जाते सो हिअर ड्यू टू दॅट smooth propagation or gradual propagation we can get and that is nothing but called as graded index fiber that he had difference for up lila a path propagation this time and of course pros and cons are there that's why we are fabricating this by using different techniques okay so i hope that it is clear to you let us read these things one by one so this is nothing but our snell's law we have used and we got one angle that is called as internal critical angle so keep this point in your mind that is sin of theta is equal to n2 divided by n1 that he equation upon kiwa he value upon vaparna de purcha derivation la then total internal reflection manje kay te apan baghitla then structure of optical fiber cable so i invite all to read this so first paragraph who will read raise the hand unmute yourself raise the hand uh, unmute yourself and everyone take participation just you have to read this paragraph is it visible रिफ्लेक्शन दर एंड क्लेडिंग आर covered by outermost the protecting jacket layer coating as shown in figure yes as shown in figure means this left side and that we have modified in simple way now next paragraph is for dimensions okay so to this you can read this is additional one ah cross sectional view prajakta cross sectional view of an optical fiber is known uh, is shown in figure the innermost region is the light guiding region known as the core and its diameter can vary from 5 micrometer to 10 micrometer 100 uh, 100, 100 micrometer so that is a correction 100 micrometer uh, it is surrounded by by a coaxial middle region known as cladding usually 125 micrometer in diameter the outermost region is called as, called as sheath okay it is called a sheath or coating you can say no problem okay. 
then next uh, that is single mode and multi mode fiber cable so this paragraph i have to read pratik a, a single mode fiber has small core diameter and can support only one mode of propagation on the other hand a multi mode fiber has a large core diameter and number of modes is available in this type multi mode fiber are further distinguished on the basis of index profile the index profile of multi mode fiber can be either a strip index type of a graded index type the index profile of single mode fiber is usually a strip index type okay then next is strip index optical fiber cable and after that graded index optical fiber cable so we will take one more student so this you have to read anyone is interested raise your hand otherwise i will shift to classroom ah you read that loudly Entering, entering at entering at different angle of incident. Okay. With the axis, the two ray travel different path length and emerge emerge out of different times. Okay. So we have completed this. Then graded index also I have discussed it. <clears throat> Now next part is the derivation part. So these are descriptive things. next lecture we will go for the derivation where we are deriving what is meant by acceptance angle and acceptance cone so these are steps that we have to discuss okay so yesterday one point one student have raised so whether i have uploaded the sixth chapter notes on the telegram it is available yes sir yes so it is available i think and the seventh one it is not there i think Okay, so seven. This one I will upload today, so you can continue the write up and notebook you have to complete, so that you can update that. So from first lecture, I am reminding you always about the notebook write up and assignment write up. I will just check the attendance. Don't remain absent now. Is in the classroom. Thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, forty-five, forty-nine, six. What is here? What is present? Twenty is also present. Thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty-two, forty-five, forty-nine, fifty-six. 